Hello and welcome back to Good Buds with Galen. Na 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 Batman. Batman. While you were gone, I slept for a day. Oh, did you? Yeah. Well, it seems it was uh not enough. Yeah. But it's changed from one day to be back soon. Maybe I need to leave and then come back. All right. Leaving and going upstairs and coming back down here. Lots of saving. Lots of saving happening. Saving the game so you do not lose your progress. Okay. How no. much longer? Just like go up to the surface and walk like a few tiles back and forth. You don't want me to just go to bed again? I mean, you can, but this it'll actually be quicker. Let's see how that can be true, but... Because you got to go through like all those things. How is that quicker? Uh, well, I mean, you could recoil to eat freehold and then it wouldn't, you wouldn't need to go through. Oh, all those golly. Things. All right. Golly gosh, mister. Gosh darn. Activate. All right. What's good? So just walk back and forth. Like you don't have to go anywhere. Just, yeah. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. It's, and now recoil. It's been two days all right recoil i was gonna be like you've been away too long <laughs> all these guys going mm -hmm. what are you scamps up to i don't think you're gonna let them pass the gate uh, uh, down it's ready excellent let's do it here we go <gasps> there they are that it? that's it bat golem isn't it beautiful you might not have hands well it's holding a cudgel so it's gotta be holding it with something but i guess they might be fused into their fleshy golem part go ahead and enter it oh <laughs> Wow. Right? And then you sit in that, and then, uh, I think, like, hit enter on yourself. There you go. And now you're piloting the golem. Now let's look at your equipment. Uh, four feet, hind feet, tail, four foot. Uh-oh. I don't think you have hands. <laughs> I don't think I have hands. Uh, the hind feet. Oh, no. <laughs> that is... They've become his teeth. Yeah. Hoisted by our own petard. That is really unfortunate we've gone let's see let's see what we can maybe oh what's happened here well there's goo everywhere why is it so many different colors now uh because they all mix together bloody slimy slimy salt hey, everybody you can just pick it all up no oh no that sucks so much that sucks so much ah! Ah! <laughs> We should have just made it the, the freaking Kragmensch. The Kragmensch would have had hands. Nope, oh, can't wear that. Oh! Can wear that. Can we wear the lenses? Yeah. Yes. We can wear the pocketed vest, maybe? Yep. Great. Can we wear the hat? Yeah. We can either wear the vest or the, or the frock. Oh, yeah, we want the vest. I guess the frock has more DV, and the pocketed vest just gives us more carrying capacity. Oh, this sucks. Uh, the the bit, the commitment with, to the bit was too much. We hard committed too hard. To... I still think that we can wear those big gloves as people. I mean, we can, but the whole point was that uh, we can't even wield the missile weapons, can we? God damn this. No, we've got teeth. Oh, oh I hate We don't it. need them. I hate it so much. Uh, we're a Batmobile. I feel like you're focusing on the wrong thing. Yeah, I mean, it's nice and all. What's our glimmer at? Hit, like, How do X. I check that? Let's hit X. Look at our... Okay, our strength is out of this world. Our ego is plus 11. So our glimmer is 42. Okay, that's cool. Confusion is good. Light manipulation is at 21. Those are good. We get wings, which is nice. Because we're a bat. Yeah, we are a bat. <laughs> The strength, strength being plus 22 with Metachrome Cudgel is kind of fantastic. I won't, I won't lie. I mean that the Golem is, you know, it's good. <laughs> it's just... Do you have any idea how cool it would have been to have Temporal Fugue as well? No. Temporal Fugue would have been absurd. We would have been 17 bats in 17 Batmobiles all shooting laser beams. It would have been godlike. Instead, mm. we are just kind of awesome. Oh, jeez. Curse my commitment to the bit. We have Demolish. We have the entire cudgel build. Okay. We could go to Moonstair. We can basically do whatever we want now. Uh, what what that is, I don't know. Like, this is... We have now become... We have now entered free roam mode. Well, we have to visit the Mimmer Granary. Yeah. Uh, oh. -na 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 Batman. Did you get your Neutron Flux back? Go talk to uh, X Clank. Okay. As the bat? Sure. 
I mean, no, uh, uh, I'm not even, I'm not even going to say that you don't have the key. It's because your bat golem doesn't have the key. So you have to get out of the bat golem to be able to go downstairs. And then you have to go to the, what? interact with that. And it'll follow you around. It's technically a follower yours now. Um, you might recall reading the manual that the golem's movement speed and quickness is, is halved when you're not piloting it. Yeah. Man, the van, but you're so mad and it's so funny. I right. really resent. What do you, the loss. what do you want? What do you want here? Uh, never mind. What's he got? Apparently, apparently, never mind. Oh, okay. Did we get? Did we get our neutron flux back? Is really it? I guess not. I guess it uses it. We all. have one left. No, yeah, he used it. Okay. Um, we could go and buy some more. Where is? Where's what? Need corpse clothes books. Oh, the I'm manual? This quest I no. What are you looking for? Whatever. Um, let's go, gang. Go, bat family. You'll want to enter your golem. Otherwise, they'll be slow as hell because you're, like, ridiculously fast. Oh, okay. So you, you, uh, direct... Did you direct your follower to enter? Yeah. Oh, I guess you do have a little co-pilot seat. <laughs> yeah, I've got my bat. Amazing. That's like... You should have named him Robin or something. I don't know. But he's not a Robin. I I could have named him Veratum. Nightwing. I guess would have would have worked. Nightwing. Yeah. There you go. Navite the wing. N Navite wing. Yeah. Hey everyone. Damn shame. Nothing for wings, huh? Wish we found some giant boots. Yeah, giant boots would have been good. What does lays mean? That's your light manipulation. Oh. That, let's go fight something. You'll you'll appreciate lays. All right. Let's go. What's happening? Uh, I think it's setting a checkpoint. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, we can, uh, I guess we could have just recoiled to Eid because we're going to go to that moon stair place. Oh, no. What? That's it. I'm done. Does the golem need water? I never thought about that. You might need to stop, drop a water skin, and then uh, specifically for your golem. All right. So. You got to exit, drop it on the ground. <laughs> uh, I think when you do that, you lose the seat or something. Oh, no. So you have to go get the seat and then place it again inside the mech. That's funny. Yeah. Are they heavy? I don't think so. I don't think it's that bad. Might be a bit heavy actually, because you did you did just gain like a hundred pounds. I oh yeah, there's the the other seat flew out because uh, it ejected. Oh, you're you're gonna lose your bat follower. Oh, he's level thirty. I suppose that's true. You can't get to him because he's flying. <laughs> you have to get the other seat though. I'm gonna put this one down. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. All right. Uh, miscellaneous? Know. Yeah, it might be. Yes. It is a hundred pounds. Drop. Great. Have a seat. Have a seat, man, Bavat. You're right. You're right. What's uh, up? can I re rename him twice? Yeah. Nevite. Mm. Wing. Night. Wing. Now he's just German. Night. Wing. Uh, like, oh, okay, never mind. What? Never mind. It's fine. He's perfect. Right. That's right, he is. I like how you're all flying. You sit down in the chair. Oh. No! <laughs> it's uh, that's pretty good we're having so much fun with this golem that doesn't have temporal fugue i like that i have to fly to get in him that's pretty fun actually uh, from a visual perspective i i really appreciate that you know, like it's like even cooler than titanfall it doesn't even fall out of the sky you just kind of like jet propel into the mech you're like fly in into the pilot seat uh oh you're sitting down and it's not working is it is it did we break it? The bat golem is not operational. It's got the chairs in the wrong spot? Uh-oh. You might have. Or is it because he has no water? Uh, I mean, there is that possibility. Can he run on cider? No. I wouldn't drop him like a 56 drams. You don't have a lot of water, do you? That's like all my water. All right. Let's, let's pour like 20. Sure. We'll collect, we'll get more. Yeah, I mean, we can just go sell shit and then anyway. And now I have to drop one. Remember when he didn't have hands? <laughs> oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> Why do you have to be a bat? Why couldn't have you have been something less thematic, but also much more practical? Why? Why? <laughs> Maybe the chairs have to be in the right place. I think you, I think they have to be in the right place. Try grabbing the chair. Uh Oh, is it broken? Did we break it? Okay. Here's what you do. You leave the, leave the golem. <laughs> and um grab your water and uh recoil to ezra uh, why why is it recoil, why to, is court it recoil of the to court of the sultans go for it oh i guess you can't 
You're just allowing it. No, now you just forbid it. You just forbade it. Um, give items. What What are we doing? I'm giving it water. Oh, okay. Good idea. I, I don't know if that's what's breaking it right now, but you can certainly try. I'm just troubleshooting here. <laughs> it's funny every time. I think it's because we... I think I think he put the seats in the wrong spot, unfortunately, and I don't know how to fix that. So the only thing I'm going to suggest is that we go to Ezra and try using the recoming nook to maybe repair it. I don't know what happens if we recoil to Ezra from here. Okay, good. He, he came with you. All right, so now go east and then south and just walk there. All right, recoil golem. Start with that. And now repair golem. You do not have one. I'm lacking slun one slun slag. Well, I drank it all. You can uh, tell your golem to stay here. I was going to suggest we go and check out the other Ickers anyway, like your legendary Ickers. Oh, I guess it, you've already told it to stay. Then why is it moving? Cannot reach. <laughs> it's, it's not. Okay, cool. All right, let's go check out our uh, Icker merchants. What a what a terrible thing that eject button is. <laughs> <laughs> really but broke it was everything. so neat. It was a it was a solid five second dopamine hit, I will say. But uh, is that blinking one, yeah, here? right there. That one right there, yeah. No, no, not in the river. All right, but I'm not staying. Yeah, this we found this one in a in a in a bad timeline. <laughs> so when we went to as the asphalt mines the first time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No. Um, so if you can afford to do so, you know, buy Neutron Flux, buy Sun Slag. Don't worry about Brain Brine. I want to drink the Brain Brine. I want to. I mean, you can. We could We could give that a go. I don't know what happens if you do it as a Trukin, to be honest. I should look that up. Seems to me that drinking Brain Brine as a Trukin is fine, based on what I'm reading here. So, is it good? Uh, I... I would say it is. It does cost you um, an ego permanently, so beware of that. However, it is good. Yes. I'm also going to look up the golem while we're here. The golem's default oh, body some... without any modifications is level 50, has 500 HP, and has dark vision at level 1. Oh, yeah. Uh, there was a um, list of list of uh, body types here that we could have looked through. And also a list of liquids, including their effects. So the uh, experimentation unnecessary, however, is fun. Oh, the Hamza. Did we get plus 10 ego from the Hamza? I'm sorry? What did we get from, like, the, the small trinket? What was the... Oh, was it light manipulation? Yeah, it was. We gave yes. it a glow sphere. We could have gotten extra ego, but I actually think that that was as good as we could have gotten. Uh, I'm just trying to see if there was anything better we could have possibly gotten from the Hamza. Uh, Our child is perfect. I don't know why you're looking at could have been. I mean, I mean. He's a perfect baby boy. I can't. I can think of at least two things that I would change about him. No feet. <laughs> Honestly, light manipulation has got to be one of the best ones. There, it, There is an argument to be made about um, teleportation. We could have given it teleportation or regeneration is uh, not a bad one. Anti-gravity boots would have given it plus 6 AV or wings at level 10, which like either of those would be pretty good. Double wings. Well, okay. Yeah, we could have made it a biblically accurate bat, I suppose. Wicked. Radical. You did say I'm buying up neutron flux, right? Yeah. Okay. How are you doing with that? How many? How much neutron flux do we have? Some. All right. Nice. If I had to be more specific. Three. Three. And two well, sun slag. Four. And I'm about to buy another one. Yeah, and four after we what buy if, that one. If... Are we running out of goods? Are we running no, out of tacos? I'm just trying not to. We 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 have we have big carrying capacity problems going on. Oh, do we? Only when I try to buy things. Yeah. Can you just do it with water now? You'd be left with like 70 water. No. The water on the nose. Well, one more guy. Two more bottles of natron. I wonder if we could get our golem to drink brain brine. I don't know. Can they drink? Well, it said it, we don't have any water. So that's an interesting thing. What would the slint get? Hmm. Incantation. It's possible to prevent this, the use of the normal staircase bathroom study by using the chrome key as a Hamza. <laughs> Golem is also a mutant type, so eaters, nectar injectors give random stats or MP. 
So they can use Eater Nectar's injector. No, 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 no. <laughs> the tree's 1500 HP looks tempting, but be careful. Normal trees can't move unless you give them a way to fly or something else. So you can't fly underground. So if we had made it a tree, it would not have been able to move. <laughs> Unless no. we were above ground, and then we'd have to give it wings. It was briefly impossible to create a tree golem, as using a tree follower to fulfill the body requirement resulted in a golem oddity. This was a bug and has been since patched. We didn't fill up any of those thermal electric cells. Oh, good. Well, we did. We did. Yeah, well, no, then we... Yeah. Oh. Oh, uh, mutation does not appear to be implemented. Shoot. Or are we out of tacos? Yeah, we might be, might out, be of, out of tacos. Might be out of tacos. All right. Well, I guess that's it then. Could get one cent for this tail thing. If we had given it, if we had given it a part of an astral tabby, it would have given it the astral effect. You'd need to be phased to enter the cockpit, but not phased to mm. sit down in the pilot seat. You can trade despite it being constantly phased. Wow. Do you have any idea how ridiculous that would be? We would basically be impossible to hit by anything except for astral tabbies. That's uh, that's incredible. Uh, deep slumberling gives it too hearted, which we knew. <laughs> Sometimes uh, reading the Caves of Code wiki is like an endless source of entertainment. If we'd given it, if we'd given it an atmos from the dream crungle, it would have given it crungling gaze. <sighs> uh, apparently, you can give it an atmos from Pax Clank. That seems weird. Hey, Pax Clank, wanna wanna help us build a golem? We kn I know we chopped a piece off of you, but hey. He's oh, a mushroom. He's fine. What is a quadravolt glider? Oh, that thing. Oh, shoot. If we'd given it a part of quadravolt glider, it would have gotten temporal fugue or electrical generation. Either of those would be good. I'm just like stuck in this now. I'm really just trying to find out if, if we can feed the golem brain brine. I don't see anything that suggests that we can't. This means you can gain stats, spend gain stats, MP, and skill points. Seems to me that you can gain mutations as the golem. So getting more brain brine might be viable, but we'll have to find out. I don't know. Like, I really don't know how much playing with the golem is worth it from our perspective. That's a lot of neutron flux you have right now. Are you going to, are you going to have it drink the brain brine? I mean, that's fine. Let's do it. Uh, did you repair the golem? I did. Is the bat's it, in the right seat now. Is it repaired? Nice. We did it. All right. Let's see if we just drink that brain brine. Yummy. Oh, we got oh. psychometry. That, uh, so that costs us an ego, but now we gain a permanent mutation and we gained a permanent mental mutation, which is also increased by our ego. So um, go through your character sheet as a golem. Yeah, psychometry is immediately bumped up to level 11, which means we can now learn to make just about anything. But what I don't... As, as well, a bat. As a bat golem, correct. I don't know what that means. Like, it, go to our tinkering menu. I wonder what that looks like right now. You don't, don't have, have the tinkering skill. skill. Okay. So psychometry is effectively worthless to us. Could possibly, couldn't possibly be a worse mental mutation. Can we, can, does it get S SP? It does when it levels, but it's level 50 right now. And that's the highest it can be? No, it just means it would take... Look how much XP you have. Like, when you back out of here, look how... how. Oh, that's pretty high. Yeah. So, in order to gain another level, you're going to have to get close to 200,000 XP. It's a lot. That is a lot of XP. Not impossible. Also... And we fudge it. What do you mean? Like, cheat? I don't know. For the goof. You want to give the golem tinkering for a goof? Yeah. I mean, if we're goofing, why don't we just make it into a Kragman? No, 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 no. Ah. He's my good baby bad boy. Can we somehow mutate him to have hands? Um, actually, I think we can. Maybe? Let me see. I, I, is this, it, this is like the end of the series, or are we going to do the Yeah, other? this is, no, I think, I think this is done. And then I think we come back with our Taco Bell mod, which we're definitely doing. We're definitely doing it, yeah. Okay. And then we take our bat to t Taco Bell. Okay, hold on. Um, control F, limb. Dismember a specified limb. That's the opposite of what I want. Unequip limb. Forcefully unequip the specified limb. Dismember all limbs and decapitate an adjacent creature. That's not what I want either. Uh, doesn't seem like there's a way to gain... Okay, mutation. Um, remove part. No, that's not it. Okay, 
uh, go to the main screen well, not the main screen like back out of this do i think it's control shift w that might have been my binding but i'm not sure nothing happened i did nothing uh control w okay mm, nothing it looks like we'll have to bind it okay go to uh hit escape and go to key mapping i'm gonna do a pause i was gonna cash it on all right we 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 did it we figured out how to we got hands <laughs> we got hands heck yeah all right let's let's wear on hands it was it oh was, yeah wasn't good enough we can even wear the gloves as well because you have two worn on hands i think i don't see that yeah i guess not i thought we would have had worn around hand like uh, high upper hands and then lower hands but i guess it didn't give us that that's fine we I have think it gave us an extra set of hands along yeah. with our many hind feet yeah Oh, and apparently floating nearby is also taken up by gigantic ley line puppeteers. Didn't realize it also took up a floating slot. But that's pretty good. Um, all right, now uh, I think we're good. Apparently you have antlers. When did that happen? <laughs> Why does your bat golem have antlers? I don't know. When did that happen? <laughs> I don't know. But it has 26 pen because it's a natural weapon. I think we accidentally gave it antlers. Oh, it was probably when I tried. we tried mutation hands. It probably it did, hand, it did handlers. It did handlers, yeah, something like that. Oh uh, no, I'm a really scary bat now. Uh, honestly, well, okay, twenty six. Never mind. The metachrome molars are better. I was gonna say maybe the antlers are better, but no, the meta metachrome molars are way better. Those are my teeth. Those are your teethies. So uh, at this point, I think I don't think we can end the episode. Like this is, I guess this is the last episode. I mean, there's lots of things we could do, but I, I feel like we're just kind of delaying the inevitable. Um. We, we gotta go fight something. Does he hold a rifle or a pistol? Um, probably a rifle. Although you don't actually have proficiency with rifles, right? I don't know. We didn't give it... No? No. Give it a spacer rifle. Um, okay. Like I say, uh, your your lasers, like your built-in lasers are gonna be... Oh, we need a gigantic cell. <laughs> All right, let's remove that then. Uh, there is kind of a way around that, but... Uh, I'm just, this is notes for the future, honestly. Uh, notes, we'd have to figure out what part to give the golem that gives it electrical generation, and then we could mod gigantic weapons that require energy to have jacked, and then basically Ooh. we could we could then use um, gigantic weaponry. I, I think that's hilarious, but also... Wait, wait a minute. Why does the other one have a nuclear cell? Nuclear? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, go back to your missile weapon, like, try and equip a missile weapon. Yeah, yeah, the gigantic spacer pistol has a nuclear cell. Is it so a gigantic... take that, well, remove I mean... the cell from that? Well, then... well, you can do that. I don't know, maybe it's just a normal cell, and as soon as you take it out, now it, it will never take it again. <clears throat> but, oh, it still lets you. Okay, so you could have the spacer rifle, or the eigen rifle. Spacer rifle's probably better, I think it uses less juice, but I'm not sure. Honestly, they're both pretty costly. Rifle install but again we we'll probably are not going to be using this at all well still you know um all right so let's go and find something to fight we gotta we gotta fight something um with our giant golem so we could go back to moonstair we could go back to that historic site seems seems fitting to try and like you know experience some oh no we don't want to do that down what a journey though you know i i honestly it, it wild to me what we achieved with this run uh, apparently we're not friends to the to unshelled reptiles as the golem yeah they can't see our sweet boots yeah they can't see our scaled everything oh, oh no he can't tinker no but we could tinker our armor we could tinker the golem's armor to have scaled stuff i think i don't think that there's any limit like i don't think that gigantic is just a modification i don't think that it prevents you from modifying but it does count as a modification so um yeah you could just like click on the right side and then your your goal will like pathfind it just saves a little bit of time i do love the music in this place oh yeah we made a mess here a little bit what do you see oh what was that okay flash of light it's the moth oh it's a gamma moth there you go oh. look at that damn it that is light manip at level 21 hard to beat and by the way i think you can use it even now because the nice thing about light manip is it's uh it's kind of like magic missiles i don't I, I think it basically never misses its mark but i might be wrong yeah you just hit that's eh, my bad i i directed you badly again it, it does never miss but i guess if there's something directly in the way then it will hit that thing so i have to kill this thing now you do yeah 
I don't think it's like you can just you, you just like fight it with melee. See how how oh what? Oh you're flying, right? Oh no, all the monads are angry now. Just try to do some like attack nearest. See how uh what happens. Nothing. Oh. oh. Okay, we got lucky. You could turn fly off and then do attack nearest. You're doing a hundred damage each hit. That is some absurd damage. Okay. Oh, uh, there's still nice. more mo monads. I mean, like, our bases are very covered with this golem. We've got an amazing ranged weapon, and we've got a really good... Like, our, our, our melee damage is, like, ridiculously good. I am wondering, however, why we're not... Why are we not stunning? Like, I noticed we're not... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, no, it, never mind. We are. They remain stunned. So we are stunning with our, uh, our molars. What's happening here? Well, one monad is following you. They're all kind of fighting that phase rifle. <sighs> Uh, we're gonna dem demolish them. Happen? You could you could destroy that phase cannon. Yeah, free free cells. <laughs> we are really the bullies right now. Last one, max max max. So yeah, um, oh. pretty decent golem build outside of uh, the fact that we <laughs> some mild tweaking. With mild tweaking. Uh, speaking of, you should look through your skills, your ability list. No, that's not what I meant. Like, just scroll through your uh your bar. Oh. Classic conch, ambient light, fusion, eject. Love that one. Please recoil the cud. Flam, sprint, temporal fugue. That's the one. You should, uh, next time you fight something, try temporal fugue. Just like get up at, up in its grill and then uh, hit temporal fugue. I get these guys are friendly, so you don't have to do it here. We're looking, we're looking for something vicious to fight. Also, um, do you know, uh, see where your carrying capacity is? You can just, you yes. can collect everything. We can we can hold up to eighteen hundred pounds as the golem. So like books for days. We could we could loot several historic sites as the golem and never run out of room. Ow. It's uh it's kind of insane. No uh no oh, hostiles on this floor. Ooh, more books. Weird that the monads gonna, are cool. We're gonna you. get that tinker in no time. Heck yeah. Okay. Down, please. Yes. Nice. Okay. Wow, that was a short floor. More? Whoa, look at all the empty bookshelves. No hostiles, but two Beatles. Three Beatles. Three Beatles. And they're all pretty cool with you. We could talk to them. I think that they would be cool with us. Why is that one not real? Uh, they're in shadow right now. Oh. Like they're in the dark. Butcher Three knives. Three steel butcher knives. I will reward you with a splendid vestment. That's not bad. Oh, that's, pages. That's, that's horseshit. <laughs> that's, that's such a garbage Beatle. And then uh, let's check out the other one. You're going to have to go like north. Yeah, there you go. Three, Three willowy, willowy items. items. Great renown. Uh, that's actually really good. Okay. We could do that like now. Mm. You could just make three chem cells and then give them willowy and then drop it in front of that one. If you wanted to. I know we're, we're not really. You'll have to do it outside of your golem have though. To, you'll have to be a, a man. Just make your golem right. poop you out and then... Uh, yeah. And then tinker up uh, some willowy chem cells. Oh yeah, we we destroy that. Destroy that uh, block. It's gonna keep making those beetles. Okay. That thing. Th this is not warranted of a temporal fugue because those things are so feeble. Honestly, amazed that it's being so difficult to pen. Like it is made out of metal, but at the same time, you have like ridiculously high pen. Broken. Okay, you're good now. You don't have to. You can just kill that last one, and then you're good. Yeah. Well, we've got. We've got unfinished business here, to say the least. Because we have one more <laughs> historic object that hates cats to check out. Yeah. More this phase... Is book, this is a book town. Phase cannon uh, turret tinker. I mean, it's kind of an anticlimactic uh, historic site for a golem. We got Vanta buds. Hot oh, damn. Hot diggity daffodils. This is That's a... Awesome. some more books there. This is a really easy going historic site. Good, good lord. Okay. That's right. a thing worth killing. Yeah, temporal fugue that. Oh. Bazap. Temporal fugue at level like 15. Get He's absolutely dead. destroyed. Uh, this actually would have been a uh, outside of the no hands thing. Honestly, the no hands thing is totally fine because you have a flying, you have a flying golem with ridiculously high strength and pen, light manip at level 20. Um. Like, you could have definitely beaten the game with this thing. And I haven't seen the ending, so maybe I don't, you know, maybe I'm misspeaking. I don't know how difficult the final 
uh, fight is, quotation marks. I know there's going to be at least one more final fight that isn't finished yet, but, um, mm -hmm. you know, I kind of wish your, I, I kind of wish the bat golem did look a little bit more bat-like. It, you know what it kind of reminds me? Wow, a lava crab. <laughs> I just immediately, you one shot killed a great magma crab. Holy cow. That is crazy. My god. I mean, you can kill that gamma moth. You don't need the temporal fugate. Where is this thing? Well, this is a, this is a moonstair historic site. So like, not only is it going to be long, but it's probably going to have maybe up to three gifts. Might two at the very least. It's it's just gonna keep going. How long? Second edition. <laughs> that was a uh, auspicious timing. Did this say something about the Plant King. That is a lot of books. It's not gonna be two hundred thousand XP worth of books, but certainly won't be nothing. I'm not sure if when we hand in books, if we get experience along with our golem. Like, does Bavatman also level up? Oh no. What's stopping me here? Uh, you slipped. I think. I don't think you stopped. I think you just. Oh no. There's something in the way. Yeah. I don't know what that Great. thing is. There's a weird you thing. Look at it. Eh, what is that? A classic decarbonizer. Decarbonizer, huh? I wonder what that does. Decarbonizes, I suppose. Life lint powders the inside of its elliptical cannon. Mm. All right. Makes you think. Really does make the one the one thoggin think. Uh, don't worry about it. It's just annoying. <laughs> you can see why. They are finite, however. They're officially finite. So you could just like keep killing instead of doing this do like attack nearest and you will eventually kill all of the uh the uh clockwork golems clockwork beetles i suppose it's broken we're good what are you doing it's trying to live man i mean uh outside of some very very like small exceptions i'm pretty sure you are immortal i don't think that there's really anything that could kill you oh I'd wow this late in the game we got some antidotes lore Mm. No stair. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Good call. Needless destruction of that final fence, but you know, I respect it. Listen. So many books. No. Yep. This is a lot of. I, I starting to question whether or not this would actually be enough to level you. Oh. Let's grab all that. Oh. <laughs> I feel like gamma moths are to you that like light moths are were to their you know mid game. Mm. They're just they're just like they are kind of tough, but. Compared to your golem, they're like flimsy. Your quickness is 130, by the way. I'm just realizing, um, which is really quite nice. Stop. A weird artifact. By, By oh my god, power plant. we got it. Yo, we need that. <laughs> okay. That's the thing that lets us power our stuff with our bloodstream. Great. Amazing. I feel like, um, what was the other thing we wanted to put in our face? I don't know. There's something we wanted to put in our face and I can't remember what. Something pretty good. And I, we, the reason we couldn't is because we have night vision. But then I was suggesting we could just uh, make our... Are we friends to bats? Yeah, we are. Because you have like ridiculous reputation with bats. I'm pretty sure. Oh. I mean, you're basically... Yeah. You, you are to bats right now that Aborokoro was to apes. They would reveal. Finally, you. we have become the Bavat Man. Ugh. A symbol of fear for some, but a symbol of hope for others. Yeah. Hmm? Oh. Oh, that's a warranted of it. Never mind. <laughs> He's dead. He's already dead. I guess. Uh, I I guess I really I shouldn't be um so like upset. This doing anything for you? I would, I mean I, I grab everything at this point. You have so much carrying capacity. You could you could literally grab everything, and you would never run out. Um. I, I shouldn't be so like greedy as to want hands for a golem because it is like ridiculously powerful with even without temporal. What is it? Painted transkinetic cuffs. Cuffs. What do those do? The full antimeter cell. Wow. Dial right intervals on the metal wrist and mercurial. Oh, it's mercurial. Okay. So they they basic. I, I I assume they go on your arm and then they will like teleport you if you get you're damaged. Which is nice. So many books. I see a chest. There it is. Yo, Time Swarm Souls, Band of Cats, and Cybernetic Creative Witches. Grab all that. Wait. Yeah, grants you teleportation. No. <laughs> 8 percent chance to behead cats on hit. Uh. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Is that a legendary mod? Wait, go back. All right, where am we, I going? We finally don't have night vision, so we can actually tell when something's legendary. There is a there is a pink monad. It's a uh, it's yeah down. Oh, maybe not. 
Yeah, down east, down west. Where are they? Where'd they go? Did it show up on... Yeah, 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 yeah. Talk to that lad. What kind of rep do they have? Yeah. Loved by Orotafian church. Hated by buffoons. Why are we on good terms with Orotafian church? Mm -hmm. Oh, we could, we could share a dram with them. Yeah. I thought they were... Uh... Wow. Why is our Orotafian church reputation so absurdly good? Do they have anything to trade? Nope. No. Mm -hmm. Tab. Nothing. Okay. Yeah. I should... Uh, what is a monad? Anyway. Highly entropic being can occasionally also be found deep underground despite their high level and HP. Monads are nearly harmless, being almost incapable of dealing damage except when spawned in psychic in a psychic biome. What is a psychic biome? I think that's it. Really? Yeah. Huh. I don't see anywhere where more stairs would be hiding. Okay, psychic biome. We did biomes it. We are... found the other cursed cat item. Yeah. Uh, what level are monads? Level mo monads are level 40, so you, you know... And just in case you're interested in having a uh, highly entropic um, golem, mm -hmm. which is, you know, curious to me. I'm a, I'm a little bit interested in what that would look like. Um, but yeah, I, I guess this is the end. Yeah. Join us next time for Taco Bell. Taco Bell mod, yeah. Um, if I keep talking about it, we have to do it. I'll definitely look into it. I think the only the only thing I don't, like, one thing I don't know how to do is to create zones and then hide them. So there is that, um, but that's something that Narf could teach me pretty easily. I think I don't think it's that difficult to learn that one. Um, certainly, all of the rest of the stuff, like creating menu items, wouldn't be difficult at all. Um, so yeah, I don't. I guess this is the soft trailer or teaser pitch for a mod we'll work on together. And uh, if you have enjoyed this series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing. And I don't know what's next for the. It'll be Moonring for a while, but. I don't know if there's anything coming up. Caves of the Cud. I'll be doing another series on the horizon. I nice. Suppose. I think I don't Let's think this it. is the end of Cud Buds. I think we'll definitely end up doing a series again. That okay. is if, if Galen's up for it. There is always that. Maybe. <laughs> what, are your, what are your final thoughts on Caves of Cud <laughs> having having played it for the first time ever? Um, I like it. It's very overwhelming sometimes. Like sometimes you tell me to click a thing and my mind, my eyes go in different directions. And then I kind of just die a little. Yeah. I, I, but other I, than that. I think if I had one thing that um, I didn't intend for the series, but ended up happening anyways, it became less tutorial and more me piloting you like a mech. And I, I was mm. a little bit sad or sorry for that. But, you know, sometimes, sometimes uh, you're not going to know what's what's going to kill you. And it's in, important Magma to know. Magma crabs. Lava Mag crabs. I don't know what happened there. That was that was really unfortunate. He pushed me into the lava, and then I got out, and then he kept hitting me, and then I was on lava fire. I was on lava fire. Yeah. Apparently, uh, Cathedra, since it takes up an inventory slot, or like an equipment slot, you can just lose it. So. Dang. What's a was a, a highlight moment for you in the series? When you got real sad that we made a big bat, and you <laughs> didn't have hands. I definitely think the high, a highlight was actually achieving the Batmobile. Like, I didn't yeah, think we did that it. was going to happen. So made Batmac. We did make, make Batmac. Wow, you know, Batman should have a mech. He probably does. He did have the that, the Bat suit to fight Superman in, uh, oh, yeah. uh, what's his name's series? Dark Knight? Can't remember. You don't mean that one. Huh? Not the Christopher Nolan one. You mean the Zack Snyder Ones. No, I don't mean e well. I I don't really mean either of those. I mean the actual comic series by that comic oh. guy whose name I can never remember for Frank Miller. Frank Miller. Frank Miller. I don't know why I can't remember his name, but it just hits my blind spot anyway. Yeah, like uh, Batman had a kind of a weird mech suit, almost like an exoskeleton suit, which he used to fight Superman one time for some reason. Remember that cut series where they just talked about Batman for ten minutes before the end. Of End of the episode. I do remember that. Yeah. It's pretty good. Great. Remember when they didn't do an uh, outro? All right, plug yourself. No, see, it's bad now. Now it feels now it feels no, bad. No, I'm gonna leave exactly five seconds of 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 uh, of nothing so they think it ended. No, um, I'm not gonna do that. Go, Go ahead, okay. and get yourself. I mean, it's kind of funny. <laughs> I think you should. Um, yeah. Uh, I stream on Twitch sometimes. So check that out. It's Killer Monkey. Uh, I'll make him put in all the information. Uh, or I do art. I do art, and I am too cheap. So Can get your get your characters for whatever you do, or just weird requests. 
you ever wanted to see a giant bat with hands, I'll draw it. <laughs> I'll, I'll friggin' draw it. I, I, I honestly I do genuinely challenge anyone who has enjoyed this series to commission Galen to draw the bat mech. I commissioned Batman, and I think that it turned out amazing. I, I would challenge anyone out there who's interested in seeing it to to commission Galen to draw the bat mech because it is it's Instead too good not to do. Morbid curiosity, just send me a screen of your of your build, and I'll do it. And you'll be like, that is what's happening, and it's nonsense. <laughs> your attention to detail is actually like scary sometimes. Someone caught on to the fact that what was it uh, the the glove on the Batman has six fingers. Yeah. Like that, that was attention to detail. I don't think I would have, I would have caught that TV. That's what he's got. It's got, he's six, got fingers. six fingers. Island. It's what's on the page, man. It is. All right. all, it's what's on there. All thanks right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for commenting. Uh, thanks for hanging out. That's it. Thanks for everything. And uh, I guess, I guess I already the... did an outro. That wasn't even genuine. Oh. It was a lie. Hit the buttons. Hit all of them. Goodbye. Do it. Bye.